Hey everybody, I am at the high school and I do lunches twice a month and today we are having a nice lunch of sloppy joes, chips, pickles, jello or fruit and I made some holiday treats. I always try to spoil the kids a little bit because um, I know that they need a nice lunch and we are two days from Christmas break so I made some caramel corn, yay! So I'll have to share that recipe with you because it's super easy microwave caramel corn. And I will show you the food that I'm serving. Um, and um, the kids really enjoy it. They've told me they like it when I cook, so I'm very happy. So enjoy it and I will share you the uh, recipe in just a moment. Hey everybody, I told you I would let you know how I make my caramel corn. I actually make it in a microwave, which is really easy to do. So I'm standing in front of my microwave. I'm not gonna make it right now because I just made, oh my gosh, like four batches of it and I'm just really tired. I should have videoed it while I was making it, but I'm gonna walk you through it and um, I can post the recipe later if anybody really wants the recipe posted. So first you're gonna air pop popcorn. I guess you could use microwave popcorn if you wanted to, but it already has some salt and, and um, like oil on it from microwaving, but I just air pop it. And the recipe calls for four quarts, which is about 16 cups. Um, if you like it a little bit lighter, not as thick and heavy with the caramel, you can make a little bit more popcorn, which is what I usually do. Um, because then I give myself the excuse that it's just a little bit more healthy. So um, pop up all your popcorn and put it in a large paper grocery bag. So just dump it in there. Um, I try to remove some of the seeds so I kind of carefully dump it in there um, because I don't like to crunch into a seed suddenly. Once you have all of that done, um, get a large glass bowl for your microwave and you're going to stick in one stick of butter um, you can use margarine if you want. I always use butter. You're going to put in one cup of brown sugar. You are going to put in, let me just double check to make sure I got it right, a quarter of a cup of light corn syrup and a half a teaspoon of salt. Stick it in your microwave for 60 seconds to get it all kind of melty and going and stir it up after the 60 seconds. Stick it back in your microwave after you've stirred it up for another 60 seconds. Stir it all up really well so you don't have any burned on or it's not burning. Stick it back in your microwave for another 60 seconds and um, it should be all nice and melty and bubbly when you pull it out after that. So it's three times 60 seconds stirring um, in between so we don't have any burned on. Pull it out right after that third 60 seconds and you are going to put in one teaspoon of vanilla and a uh, half a teaspoon of baking soda. It's gonna start to foam. It's not gonna foam up and go crazy and make your kitchen a mess, but it's gonna foam. So you wanna stir that baking soda up so you don't have any chunks of baking soda. That's what's making it kind of foamy. Once you have all of that stirred up and we're talking like, you know, we're doing 10, 15, 20 seconds of stirring, you're gonna pour all of that into the bag of popcorn. So that's why you want one of those um, grocery sacks, a little bit thicker papered sacks. Pour it in there, you know, scrape it all out. I have a handled glass, um, it's from Pampered Chef, a handled glass uh, measuring um, thing. I think it's, I think it's two quarts and that is perfect because I have a handle and I can pour and I can dump it all in there, scrape it out. Grab your sack, fold the top over a little bit and shake. Shake, 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 shake like crazy. Did you get that? Shake. Stick it in your microwave with the edge folded over and microwave it for 60 seconds. Once that 60 seconds is up, pull it out. Shake, 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 shake. Shake the phone. Shake it. Shake it really good. My kids love helping me with this because they like to do the shaking part. Shake it up really good. Stick it back in the microwave. And you're going to do two rounds of 60 seconds, one round of 30 seconds, and you're going to shake before and after each time you do that. After that last 30 seconds, it should be all good to go. Have a very large cookie sheet or two cookie sheets. Dump it all out on there and it's going to be hot. Dump the popcorn from the paper bag onto that cookie sheet and let it cool. So it might cool into kind of a hard 
um, lump, but it breaks apart really easy. So once it's all cooled, it's gonna be crunchy and hard and you can just kind of gently grab it and break it apart. And you have caramel corn. So I made like a ton of batches. Here's a bunch that is going to my daughter's school tomorrow for their Christmas party. I made baggies full for um, the high school kids that I was serving lunch to today. Um, my kids go to a really small high school so we don't have a ton of people eating lunch. So I can make my batches of caramel corn and I can feed them. And it's easy, it's yummy, it's a great holiday treat. You can drizzle chocolate over it, you can add nuts to it. If you wanna add nuts, I make mine without nuts because of peanut allergies in some kids, so I try not to have peanuts in it. Um, but if you want nuts in it, stick it in with the popcorn before you put the caramel on. So put it in your, your grocery sack with the popcorn, kind of mix it up in there, and then you go through that whole process with the caramel. And I've done it with nuts, it works wonderful. So if you have any questions, post in the comments. Otherwise, enjoy this yummy holiday treat. And um, if you need me to handwrite that recipe out, I can stick it in a comment for you. Just post a comment if you didn't get it from here. It's pretty easy. We're doing 60-60-60, 60-60-30. Shake, 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 and you have caramel corn. Happy holidays.